Today I'm making a no-cook sauce that's really kind of a salad. It's a tomato olive and feta cheese salad for grilled chicken cutlets. So, I don't know, can you call it a sauce? Sort of. The first thing that I'm gonna do is slice up some tomatoes. These are cherry tomatoes and I'm gonna slice them in half using my handy dandy trick, taught to be my Jane Ventresca, where you take your tomatoes and you put them between two lids and then you slice and you can slice like 15 at once. It's pretty fantastic, it works really well, especially if your knife is super sharp, and it really does save you a ton of time. <laughs> so I have a pint of cherry tomatoes sliced in half, half a cup of fresh mint leaves, just pull the leaves off. They should be clean though, make sure they're washed. I really love the flavor of fresh mint. I think that it's good for more than just sweet things, so I recommend you try it here. These leaves are a little too big, so I'm gonna cut these in half. I just keep tearing them. I want them all about the same size. Mint goes into the bowl with the cherry tomatoes. Third of a cup of Kalamata olives. These are pitted. Hey, do you think that the um, tomato cutting trick works for olives? Let's see. It might not. This is an experiment, people. Don't, don't get upset if, I, if it doesn't work. It might be too thin. Yeah, it doesn't work. All right, never mind. Failed experiment. It's okay. I mean, the only way that you're gonna grow as a cook is if you experiment, right? Allow yourself to make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. Olives can go in with the tomatoes too. And then some feta cheese, a cup of feta, crumbled. I'm just gonna crumble it right over here. Okay, that's about a cup of feta, I think. Drizzle with about a tablespoon of olive oil. Some salt, not too much salt because of the olives. Remember, they're salty already. And pepper, and then toss it together and you've got your salad. Stir it up, and now all that's left to do is grill up some chicken cutlets, and that'll take, I don't know, five minutes? That's what I like. You can just take this with me. Just set your salad aside for a sec. Heat your grill ahead of time so it's nice and hot when you're ready to start grilling. Give it a nice brush with oil so nothing sticks. What's it on? Medium high. You definitely want it hot and it's probably gonna smoke just a little bit when you add the oil because the oil gets super hot. I have some chicken cutlets here. They're very nice and thin. I'm gonna drizzle them with a tiny bit of oil and then season with salt and pepper. You can mush around that oil just so it's nice and even. And then oiled side, seasoned side down. Put them on the grill and then cook them. They really shouldn't take very long at all. A couple minutes per side, I would say. And then you can season the second side after. Once everything's on the grill, you can just go back in and season that side. The edges are starting to turn white, so I know it's time to turn these over. The great thing about chicken cutlets is they cook super duper fast and they stay really nice and juicy on the grill because they cook so quickly. The thinner the chicken, the higher the heat can be, the thicker the chicken, the lower the heat should be. So since these are really thin and they cook really fast, you can cook them on a high heat and they'll cook through really quickly and stay juicy. But if they're kind of thick or you're doing skinless, boneless chicken breasts, you're gonna wanna have the heat a little bit lower and you're gonna wanna cover it while they're cooking. That way, they'll cook through without burning on the outside. These, you don't need to do that. Nice and firm. These are done. I'm ready to platter. Grab them off. This makes a really beautiful presentation too. Nice and thin, very fun for summer. You can totally do this on an outside grill too. In fact, I think it would be even better. I just don't feel like going outside. What a schlep. Just kidding. Spoon the salad on top. It's had just a little bit of time to marinate, which makes all the flavors meld together really nicely, which we love. I'm in love with this, because it has all the flavors I want. Fresh from the mint, salty from the olives, tangy from the tomatoes, a little bit sweet. If you want to add just a little bit of fresh, unmixed mint to the top for garnish, it might be nice. This makes it pretty. All of my favorite flavors combined into one fabulous dish. Took no time to make. Great for summer. Make it, please.